Hey everybody, I'm Beerman the Beerman, and welcome back to This is the Police. Last time... what the fuck happened last time? <laughs> um, it, uh, we, we, I don't think we had any deaths, we did okay. Um, the, the big thing is now, today, we're gonna, we need to make sure we have enough Asians, which I think we do. And I think we're also possibly going to jail. <laughs> or we're getting sued, at least. I think that's today, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so, welcome back, here we go. Let's see, gay club admitting minors. That's not good. Uh, janitor found dead after a stampede at school disco. That's also not good. Millionaire bum donates everything to church. Oh, that's nice of him. Remember that? The the homeless guy won the millionaire lotto, lotto or whatever. He donates everything to a church. Good for him. Very nice of him. I hope, I hope he went and got a nice bacon cheeseburger too. Here we go. Let's go to work. Jack, rev it up. Get your shit together. We got work to do. Come on. All right. Sims, there was a fire at my daughter's school and my little girl was seriously burned. Whoa. She's in intensive care. Can I go to her? Absolutely. <laughs> of course you can. Oh my God. I drank too much. No. No, I need you. You're Asian. <laughs> I think. Wait, how many other Asians do I have? Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> no, you can't. You, I need you. I'm sorry. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? I think you're also Asian. I can't quite tell by the face, but he has a Japanese name. So, uh, no, you can't go home. Oh my God. I need to take my car to the shop. Can you spare me today? No. Take your car to the shop later, Yancey, you bastard. Jesus Christ. Should I promote Yancey? <laughs> I don't think I should. Not after that bullshit. Or maybe I should so he doesn't get too mad. He's at 500. That's really good. That's very, very good. But Strong has also been doing great. She... Can we see... Oh, come on. It should let me click on their shit so I could see, like... What they've been up to. That's too bad. Um, Who are we going to give it to? Strong or Yancey? I think we should give it to Strong. I think she deser deserves it. She's been around. She's done some work. Or should we give it to someone on the other shift? Fuck it. We're giving it to Strong. It's all yours, Strong. Enjoy. You're promoted. Don't don't fail me, all right? Whatever you do. Here we go. All right. I was I was wanting to listen to this. I was I was thinking about this song earlier today. Sweet Ginger Green. I don't know why, but I, it was the picture, really. I was thinking of the picture, and I was like, oh, I want to hear it. So here we go. Great. Man, I love this game. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know in the comments if you like how things are going so far, if you're still enjoying this series, because I, I'm honestly, this is one of my favorite series. <laughs> it's really fun to play. We got fucking Marilyn Manson on the team now too, which is great. Mafia, your share. Whoa! Your friends sent your share from the sale of jewelry. 10,000 bucks. Fuck yeah. I need the money. Hire Asian cops. Come on. I did it! Oh my god, I did a thing! <laughs> Great. Jack, keep up the good work. Fine. And we'll make sure you're fine. Yeah, okay, yeah. Great. What sucks, you know what's annoying though? Is when you make them happy, you don't get any extra shit. But when you don't make them happy, they take away a fucking job slot. You paid your snitch his weekly fee. Oh, do I pay her every week? 500? Shit, that's like almost all my money, isn't it? Well, so far she's been a pretty good snitch, so we'll keep her on board. We'll just keep selling all the shit we find, I guess. Alright, what do we got? Destruction of property. A student reported seeing a truck drive into the yard at the hostel. A fat man climbed out and began to slice up a bench with a chainsaw. Oh my god. <laughs> Some other students tried to intervene, but the man threatened them with the chainsaw, saying, I asked you nicely to keep quiet at night. Now you can park your yellow asses somewhere else. Man, it's racist. But it's kind of, I like, I like his initiative. <laughs> I like that, you know, instead of like just yelling at them, I like how he's like, I'm taking out this damn park bench. <laughs> I like that. I like your style. All right, fine. Um, how are we going to handle this? Let's send all the Asians. <laughs> Should we do it? Should we send all the Asians to take care of this racial situation? Maybe, maybe uh, Marilyn Manson can go. And maybe she'll get all pissed off because she's drunk. Um... Let's see. All right, we're doing it. We're sending all the Asians. I don't know if he's Asian. He's also tired. And she's drunk. Let's send them both. <laughs> see how it goes. 
<laughs> All right, have fun. Go handle that chainsaw guy. Oh my god, please don't die. Actually, Marilyn Manson here can die. Not that I have anything against Marilyn Manson. I actually um, am a fan of his music, to be honest. But, um, because I'm a 90s kid. I mean, that's just how it is. I'm a 90s kid. You can't not like Marilyn Manson if you're a true 90s kid. God damn it, I knew this would happen. It's more serious than we thought. Alright, fine. You're getting everybody. Everybody get in there. Oh, alright, you guys get in there. Steely! <laughs> you're our man. <laughs> God, why does it always come down to Steely? Oh fuck, what's this? Assault with deadly weapon. Oh no! Steely can't handle that! Shit, I hope everyone gets back in time. I don't think they're going to. That's too bad. Someone's gonna die now. That's not good. We really need- oh, this, that song just ends so abruptly. It's kind of weird. Dang it, that's too bad. Alright, get your butts back here. Will they make it? No, they're not gonna make it. How'd it go? Everybody okay? Did you start any fights, Marilyn? No? Alright, come on. Oh, we just might. I don't think we're going to. Sans needs help. Wait. How many do you need? Two? Too bad. Are we gonna make it? Oops. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? I'm clicking Fran- Oh, it doesn't work. Dang it. It's just a moment too late, isn't it? Fucking goddammit. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, civilian killed, of course. Oh, that's bullshit. Darn it. Alright, fine. You're gonna get my two tired buttholes here that <laughs> couldn't keep their shit together last night, apparently. What's this? Uh, Dear Mr. Boyd, the TV show I produced, Justice For All, suffered a terrible drop in ratings last month. Our polls suggest that our viewers stopped finding the shows believable. We are currently shooting the next season, and for one episode, we need a real cop who will portray a, a cop pervert. What? <laughs> who is kidnapping young girls and raping them in his car. Oh my god. That's a terrible thing for one of our cops to do. Steely can do it. <laughs> uh, we don't have a huge budget, but I think that we can afford a couple of thousand for you. And for the cop who, uh, who will play the part in the show. And plus, everyone in the city will see him in the show. Yeah, that's not- that's exactly what we don't need. You know what? I think if we do this, I- I bet- I bet whatever cop we send, I bet they'll- they'll just, like, continue- they'll quit, and they'll just go on to be an actor or something, and Steely's got on, only 110 stars here. What does that mean again? The stars? What's the right word for that? I don't know. Stars. <laughs> it's too bad we can't send Marilyn Manson. He'd be great for that. <laughs> God, I'm terrible. Steely, you're the man. Get in there. Go act your butt off. Go act like you're a cop raping children or whatever it was. God, that's just awful. Bomb threat? Uh-oh. A call just came in from a bank branch in the center of the city. A man entered, wired with explosives. He threatened to blow himself up along with everyone nearby unless, unless he was allowed to speak with the press and TV within the hour. The man claims that the bank took away his house after failure to repay a loan, a loan which he says he never took out. Okay, well, let's send everybody. Um, I feel like, I mean, if all he wants to do is be on TV for a moment, fucking let him do it. <laughs> let him say his thing, you know? Just put a disclaimer at the bottom that just says, this guy's crazy and he has a bomb strapped to him, so don't listen to what he says. He's not going to know, <laughs> right? Yeah, just let him be on TV for a little bit. Then tell him to calm the fuck down. It'll work. Trust me, I'm really good at, at like... Being a cop, <laughs> as as all of you can tell. Oh my god, alright, how'd it go? Good, I guess. Fuck you, Boyd, take your fucking orders and shove them up your better half. I quit. Yeah, I knew he would quit. I knew whoever did it would quit. Do I at least get paid? Yeah, I get paid, fine. <laughs> That's fine. Let's hire someone. Let's hire... We didn't need that asshole anyways. Um... Justin Vermillion, Donnie Coleman, oh my god, his eyes, for some reason, oh, this guy looks like a straight up pedophile, first of all, uh, so does this guy, oh my god, look at him, he's like, hey there kitties, oh my god, I'm the worst, um, Forney, I like that name, Forney, what was I gonna say, oh yeah, this guy kind of, for whatever reason, I feel like he looks like someone from South Park, I don't know why, alright, Forney, you're in. What shift is this? B? I just fired someone from B. Wait, how are we doing on shift A? I'm sorry. Oops. Personnel, shift A, shift B. Oh, we're equal. Okay. 
we have a lot of really good people on shift A, though. But we're doing good. They're both pretty good. Fuck it. We'll give them to shift A. All right, Forney. You're on shift A. Handle, handle all that shit, because no one else seems to be able to do it. How'd the bomb threat go? Oh, fantastic. Great. That's what I want to hear. Good job, team. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Yancey, don't fuck with me, all right? I know you're thinking about it. I know you have some bullshit plan to get me in trouble or to quit your job or go get drunk or rape a child or some shit. Don't do it. What's this? The Sands need help. You got it. <laughs> what do you need? Our, <laughs> our family has several city officials on the payroll. One of them is ushering some valuable items through the public transport system. The goods are slated to ship out tomorrow, but it looks like there's some some punks who want to dump the cargo overboard before it even clears the dock. All right, yeah, fine. Okay, so we're sending our two lazy asses. They can go do it. Steely's gone. Good riddance. Actually, I don't know. I kind of liked Steely. <laughs> He's low on stars, but, I mean, he did a lot of our dirty work for us. Maybe that's why he quit. He was like, fuck this asshole. <laughs> He's making me do all the stupid bullshit. Well, everybody else gets to do the real job. All right. Formal complaint? Whoa! You have been found guilty of a serious abuse of power. The city requires that your salary be reduced by 90%. <laughs> oh, no. Did they all quit? Oh, my God. Is there a CNC quit? Further, we have reason to believe that overstaffing in the police department is contributing to the increased number of service violations. No, I can guarantee you, we don't have enough staff because you keep taking away my job slots. So the number of employees under your command will be cut by 50%. And of course they took all my highest ranked employees. Oh my god. <laughs> My, my salary was already next to nothing, and now it's 90%, it's been reduced by 90%. You guys, I don't know what we're gonna do. This could be the end. This is rough. Sans, I need your help. There's a crime in progress. Destruction of property, send them all. Send them all in there. We, oh my god. Okay, we lost two people in shift B, we lost everyone in shift A. All right. We're hiring, let's see, yeah, we gotta hire three people for shift day. Oh my good lord. Shift day, shift day. I didn't want to hire these these pedophiles, but we don't have any choice. All right, can we hire any more? That was, we can't hire more, right? Cop slots nine of 13, why can't we? Oh, because they, we've hired everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. We have a lot of money, should we do a thing? I mean, the barbecues don't seem to do shit, honestly. The only people who don't get mad at me are the detectives. Maybe we should send them all on a barbecue. How about that? Or maybe not. We have all these investigations going on too. Maybe we shouldn't do that yet. How about some police training? Can we send some of the, news pe the new people on training? No, I don't think we can. Um, should we send Marilyn Manson on training? I don't think we should. I don't think we should send anyone anywhere at this moment because, like, I feel like we're going to be short next time. Oh, my God. Damn it. All right. What was the thing? There was a thing. What the hell was it? Theft. Report. No new frames. That's the second time we have no new frames. All right. So th we got to figure out what's going on. We got to do this. Um, should I just... Ran <laughs> I don't want to just randomly... Oh. Can I move these? No, right? No. Okay. So, god damn it. Alright, City Hall won't allocate the money to fix it. I didn't hear the glass breaking. It's a big museum. When I went down this way again, it was already early morning. The window was broken and the canvas was cut off from the frame. No trace of anyone around, just a brick lying on the floor. Oh. Oh. Maybe this is the person picking up the brick who found, they found it. And it's the, it was the last thing that happened. So maybe that goes last? Because it was found in the morning after the crime? Let's try that. So this guy possibly threw it, came inside, stole the painting, and ran away. No? 
Maybe... Maybe this? No? God. <laughs> Parking lot was empty all night, and the morning a cyclist went past with a tube in, on his shoulder. Now, that was this guy, right? The guy... This guy. No? Often, yeah, he admitted to being that person, basically. Tube on his shoulder, the guy slowly rolled in the parking lot, then left the bike for a couple of minutes and went out of sight. Then he came back, got on the bike, and left. Suffer from insomnia and often go cycling around the city late at night. I took a tube and some other equipment so I wouldn't have to go back home before my morning classes at the art school. I stopped at the museum to pee. I admit it. I like to mark the corner of the building. I imagine one day my work will be hanging inside. Okay. His lectures on the works. So yeah, this guy, he doesn't like this artist, right? But the, I, what? I don't think there was a clue in here. Was there? Dismiss the legendary artist as overpriced mediocrity and was very amused when an unknown room painting was discovered in the city dump. He said it was already in his proper place. He was less amused when he learned that the room painting would be hung in the museum. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Bram who broke the museum and stole the painting to burn it. That's fine, but that doesn't seem to help any of these. Okay, the glass is almost completely broken out. A grown man could easily climb through the window and not cut himself. Most of the shards are lying on the pavement outside the museum. Maybe we still don't have enough clues. I don't know what else... What do you guys think? I don't know what else to do with this. I don't fucking know. He showed up, he grabbed a brick, he threw it in the window, he came inside and he took the painting. <laughs> what else would it be? Unless we're supposed to figure out at what point this guy who happens to wear the exact same clothes... Like, fucking, this is bullshit. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Alright, well, I don't know, maybe we need more clues. Oops. I want to see who's working on that case. Theft. It's this guy! He's like our best dude! Oh, whoops, not that one. That's the other theft. We're waiting on that one. Alright, so she's... What's her, uh... Oops. Can I see her... Oh, detectives, here we go. Sorry. 200. Yeah, that's not great. Maybe that's the thing. Can we put her on the case? Yeah, we're, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put her on the case and see if we can get this shit figured out. Okay, fine. She's also on the case. Great. I don't know what else to do. Oh, wait. Is there anything in gangs? No. Okay, fine. All right. Sorry about all that. I just I want to make sure we we get get start getting things done. You know, there really was a bundle of cash hidden in one of the sofas. Ooh, I'm not giving that to either of you. Do I get the money? Officers found money at the crime scene. What do you want them to do with it? Uh, uh ask the mafia to sell the money. No, just take the money. What What kind of asinine plan is that? That's stupid. Why would you do that? You know what? We just got in a lot of trouble. Let's bring it to the police station. I hope that was the right decision. Let's sell all the drugs and anything else we'll bring to the police station. Oh my god. We are the worst cops of all time. Jesus Christ. All right. Day 22. That was a wacky day. Let's move on uh, to day 23. Here we go. Sans, Vargas, all right, Sans is still doing good. I love it. Here we go, continue. Wouldn't it be funny if we just suddenly turned on Sans out of nowhere? What do you think would happen? He'd probably fucking kill us. All right, here's our people. God, all right, end, end the day. Here we go, day 23, Tuesday. It's a freaking Tuesday. Freeburg gymnast uh, wins regional competition. Good for him or her. Trucker's unhappy with suburban roads. Okay, fine. Fire at the puppet theater. Two actors dead. Um, that's not good. That's too bad. I hope, uh... I don't know. I hope they had insurance. <laughs> There's not a lot I can say for... for video game characters that don't exist. Didn't come into work today. Why is it every time I hire someone, they don't come in on their first day of work? What the fuck? What is with these assholes? Didn't come into work. Today my daughter is opening an art exhibition in an elite gallery in a nearby city. Can I have the day off? Uh, Drake, normally I would say yes, but we're short on manpower. I'm sorry, but I need you. Look at that. Oh my god. We have four cops and they all suck. Jesus Christ. This game is 
just <laughs> it's so rough all right we're doing this one again <laughs> two days in a row sweet ginger green come on make me happy <laughs> oh my god jesus christ what a joke okay all right you losers you're <laughs> you're gonna have to show me what you got today attempted murder send everyone <laughs> all the people Girl shouted over the phone that her grandmother has been killed at her home. That's not good. Send all the people. This could be a false alarm, but it doesn't really sound like it. Usually the details are pretty... It's usually like kind of obvious if it's a false, false alarm. Um, uh-oh. What do you want? A fight? Well, you're gonna have to wait. A few drunks were playing darts and one of them got, uh, got one in the shoulder. A fight broke out which was quickly joined by other patrons of the bar. Of course, I mean, if you're at a bar and a, and a fight breaks out, you're obligated to involve yourself in the fight. You, you are 100% obligated to jump in there and just start swinging at any bar fight. If you don't do that, you are labeled as, um, well, depending on what, what sort of society you live in, <laughs> There are many things you may be labeled as that I, I don't want to say because I don't want to offend anyone. Okay. Uh, attempted murder. The road to the house is is strewn with the corpses of drowned dogs. What the fuck? The lights inside the house are on, but the door is locked. Find another way in. Call through the front door. Enter the house through a window. What the fuck? Call through the front door. A bleeding elderly woman is lying on the floor of the living room. Check the backyard. Search the second floor. Check whether the woman is still alive. Yeah, we need to do all of those things. <laughs> um, uh, what? Do do all those things. <laughs> See if she's alive. Don't die in the process. He escaped, of course. And the civilian was killed. Fantastic. Great. <laughs> we lose all our points. What, do you, what the fuck do you want me to do in that situation? Do all the things! Check the backyard, check upstairs, and check to see if she's okay. Of course! Oh, I forgot there's this. Oh, but wait, hold on, what's this? Homicide? Come on, I have too many mysteries going on right now. I can't send any, but too bad. <laughs> I need to deal with the less important thefts first. Are we gonna make it? Come on! Can we do it? No. God damn it. Now City Hall's gonna get mad at us. Cause we're not doing anything. Oh good, nobody died at least. Uh, can we hire people? I don't think so. Nope, oh my god. This is the worst. You guys, <laughs> this is bad. Oh wait, can we, can we take her off the case and then put her on this new case? Can we do that? Nope, of course not. <laughs> Great. Well, fine. Let's put her back uh, on this case then, I guess. Was it this one? Yeah. There we go. All right, get to work. Okay, the Sands need help. <sighs> Too bad, sorry. I need I need all these people. Um, if, uh, I mean, he's high on points right now, so I think I think he'll be all right. Oh my god. I want to do this homicide mystery, but I don't have enough people. Suspicious, su uh, suspicious individual. A cashier just called in her voice in a whisper. Two suspicious black men have entered the store. They spent a few minutes browsing the rack with the expensive whiskey, and now they're whispering to each other and looking back at me. It looks like they're planning on robbing the store. Uh, they might, but I'll bet this is a false alarm. If I had better cops, I would just send one or two, but they all suck, so we gotta send them all. <laughs> we need to send all the cops. Alright, hurry up. Hurry the fuck up so you can get back in time for the next probably way more important thing. <laughs> God. Oh, man. What a mess. I get It's gotta be because I fired so many people illegally, which I only did because City Hall wanted me to make sure I had all women. Ugh, this game. So aggravating. Yeah, false alarm. I thought so. God. Come on, get back here. 
Get the hell back here. Look, if nothing else interesting happens, we might even do a third day in this episode. Never mind. <laughs> a passerby witnessed three people trying to break into an ATM. Pickup truck was parked nearby, its engine still on, with another man behind the wheel. Looks like they're trying to grab the ATM and carry it away in the truck. Alright, when, when, when they come back, we'll send them, but there's one thing... I forgot to check. Oh, one day left until we get the request. Okay, fine. We're getting paid no money, so now we're, we have to completely whore ourselves out to the sands. Or just uh, anything we can do to get money, we're going to have to do from now on. Because we are getting paid nothing. Alright, here we go. Everybody get in there. Come on. Hurry the fuck up. Go handle that. I don't even remember what it was. What was it? Theft? I don't know. <laughs> I was too busy thinking about our shitty situation. Oh my god. Come on. Hurry up. Let's get, should we get some, some music for the, for the evening? Let's do that. You know what? Let's get some, was it Bud and Bob? Bud meets Bob. Let's get some Bud meets Bob in there. That sounds good, right? A little bit of Bud meets Bob for the evening. Finish off the night with a nice cocktail. Sans need help. Too fucking bad. <laughs> you haven't been helping me at all, so you can go fuck yourself. You need to fucking give me some money. God damn it, retreat. You're all you're all gonna die. <laughs> Don't do it. You're all gonna fucking die. Let's just let City Hall get mad at us again. It's better than all of you dying. God. Fuck you, City Hall. We're pain in the ass. What's this one? Oh, okay, we got new Oh great! We got some new frames. Okay, let's check it out. So uh, I went for lunch at 1 o'clock, and a couple of minutes later, the lights went out. I shut the door behind me. I remember that I bur uh, bumped into the janitor's cart that was standing in the hallway. Okay. So the janitor, is that, that must be from the janitor. Someone kicked the door in. Okay, fine. What else? I suspect the student Aaron Jones. He, he's come by the hospital several, to several times in a state of confusion with red searching eyes. Uh, dragging his huge backpack behind him, but it never occurred to me that he might be an addict, okay? What was it? His huge backpack. That, that must be that, huh? Maybe? Yeah, probably. Okay. Fine, I was in the bathroom when the lights went out. The only thing I saw is what you normally see when you're sitting on the toilet. Oh, and then a janitor came into the restroom with his cart. I heard him emptying the bin, then the lights came on, and I went to... Uh, the head physician's office for a signature, but he wasn't there. I'm not getting a lot of clues from this. I am, oops. I am seeing two different people. This appears to be the janitor. Alright, and this appears to be a completely different person. Aaron Jones. Okay, so this person is being suspected by Marcus, the head physician, who wasn't Available this is the pharmacist. This is the janitor. Okay. Yes, I have keys to the pharmacy I wash the floors there just like everywhere else, but I don't have access to the electrical panel Only my superiors have those keys and there's another mystery. What happened to my garbage bags? Someone took them out out of my truck, and I can't find them anywhere Okay, well you're the only one. I don't see a garbage bag there. This is clearly a garbage bag. And you're a different person, but you don't have a garbage bag, so we might not have enough frames yet. That's my only guess. Unless they're in cahoots. Maybe they're working together. Let's, let's just give that a try. I don't think that's the case, but... Okay, he... He jimmied the door open, and then he busted it open, and then he took some shit, and then... He wrote him a love letter, and then he fucking cleaned up the mess. I don't know. <laughs> that's obviously not it. We need more clues. Fine. What was this again? Oh yeah, you need two people. Uh, let's wait till the last minute, just in case something else pops up. But if not, we'll give them these two assholes. How about that? Come on. Three, two, one. Oh, never mind. I was gonna do it, but yeah, no detectives sent to the crime scene. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any. <laughs> End the day. Well, how come I had like two seconds left on that one? How come I couldn't do that? Jeez. All right, well, there you go. Day uh, 22 and 23. Man, that that sucked. We, we, we got like, we got all the Asian cops in there, so we were good on that, but then we lost everything. Like, all of our people, that was bullshit. Man, okay, well, next time we'll come back and we'll try to get things back on track again. 
Jeez, what a roller coaster this game is. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had some fun. If you did, please leave a like. And I'll see you next time. Bye!